Welcome to Unsolicited. This is Security Boss. And I hope everybody is having an outstanding day. Listen, guys, this you're right. You heard it. This is the first vlog on Unsolicited. And Security Boss is in her favorite place. Everybody knows I'm in my car. Some shouts out to Lead Attorney. I would love to do something with Lead Attorney. I love the way he thinks. I love the way he uh, responds. I think he is just so shady. It's just so funny. <laughs> he has a sense of humor out of this world. So I shouts out to Lead Attorney. Um, I think he has an outstanding platform. Also, Anton, Anton Daniels. Anton, I appreciate you and everything you do. You and I think so much alike. You would not believe it. You would not believe it. I, you just wouldn't believe it. It shocks me sometimes. Uh, but I am a woman. You are a male. So there's some differences. But it's just amazing to see. And actually, it's good to see that know, and to know that there are other people who are squares. <laughs> squares. That is the word for it. So And also, the Le Le Peep Show. I enjoy it. JR, I, you and Anton, I appreciate what y'all have done. And um, the topics are good. You know, just continue to do what you do. The only thing I don't like about it, and it's really not anything having to do with the show, is I just don't want, I want to hear every word. I hate when the, uh, when they start talking over each other. It just drives me crazy. I, I you know, I want to scream, but I don't. I stay tuned. It works itself out, but that's the, that's the thing that, uh, anyway, I guess everything needs and requires a little drama, I suppose. But anyway, very good show. I follow. I watch. I'm in the background sometimes commenting. So, you know, continue to do what you do. And hopefully one day, Security Boss Unsolicited will do the same. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. We'll be successful like that. I understand now that you just have to put in the work. And you guys really put in the work. You produce these videos. You come up with this content. And you're working each and every day. And I must say, I have not done that as far as YouTube goes. But I realize if I want to do it, that's what I got to do. So here it is, unsolicited, security boss. I'm doing it. I'm vlogging today. Do a short little drive to work. Um, tonight I'm videotaping. That's going to be coming soon. I'm not going to tell you what I'm talking about, but you'll see it soon. And I'm going to continue to come up with some topics or some things that I see along the way that I just want to address. But for now, I'm just enjoying my day and my ride just enjoying it and again remember I said that I'm coming to, um, to you as someone who has a successful marriage and been married a long time and I have not let that go that has not changed for me I heard Anton say one time you only you only have one time to get it right and he's right my question is why are we not putting that energy into that one time why do we flake out why do we flake out and be like uh, I'm not happy anymore I want to turn her in and give her a new one or I hate him I want to get rid of him and get another one stop flaking put the work in put the work in stop being selfish it's serious it's a serious situation I don't know I don't have the answers but I do know the solution is to put the work in don't have the answers to why we flake but I do know the solution is Put the work in and you'll get over your flaky moments because we all have them. We all have them. We all have moments when we don't feel good. We all have moments when we hate each other. We all have moments when we look at each other and feel like, oh, I could have done better. And that's just normal. That's a normal thing. Just walk it out. Walk it out. Stop complaining about it and walk it out. Nothing in life is going to be perfect. Nothing in life is going to be always the fair, I should say fair, perfect nor fair, and nothing in life is going to be the way you want it all the time, especially when you're making yourself one with another, okay? And I'm going to say it again. I know someone, I hear lots of times people are saying, men don't need women, and I hear you women, I'm, I'm independent, I don't need a man. Understand this, we were made for each other. We were and we need each other in order to exist and continue to make this world operate by its original plan. Now, what I mean by that is that there was a plan that was cultivated in the beginning. And in order for us to carry that out, procreate, 
and exist on this earth the way we're supposed to, we have to live together. Some in marriage and some not. What have you? That's what I mean. So get it. <laughs> Work it out. And stop being your world's worst problem. God, my God. I always, I say this all the time. We get in the way. We get in the way. Let it go. It's just selfishness and lack of, what is it? Bigger, maybe? You don't want to put in the work. You don't want to, you want that, well, are we in that microwave society where it wants to be perfect all the time and want it quickly? Whatever. I don't know, but grown-ups, don't get married unless you're willing to take it seriously. Now, something I thought about earlier this morning was in taking it seriously or when you get to a point I mean, I remember Jr. asking me a question about what do you do when the when the man has reached his point and said, you know, I'm, I'm leveling up, I've done everything I'm supposed to do, and she's still not willing to change. And you know, at that point, I'm, and you know, he kind of actually made it seem as though it was kind of, you know, getting to be kind of abusive, kind of, you know, in a relationship that you probably shouldn't be in. And of course, my response to him is, you know, any kind of relationship that is abusive is one that, you know, you need to walk away from because that's not acceptable. But as I was thinking about it, right at the point where you're getting ready or you're frustrated and you're saying, you know, you're going to throw up your hands, that is actually the point where the change needs to take place. And that change needs to take place with that individual that is throwing up their hands because I realized that in a controversy or adversary or when things are not going your way is when you make the biggest change when things are hard and you're not getting your way that's when you learn more that's where you that's where you get it that's and you know what happens you just need to let all that go you know all that ego all that um about me all of that, this is, this is what you call total submission. When you totally submit to the fact that this is not going to be the way that it was or even the way that you want it to be, that is when the change can happen. So right at that moment, when you're about to throw up your hands, submit. Totally submit and allow God to take over that situation and renew your mind and also your mates. So that's what the answer is, is total submission. Because all the while it seems like you're saying, oh, he's doing this, he's doing this, she's doing this, she's doing that. And they have come to the conclusion or they're at the point where they don't know what else to do. And when you don't know what else to do, you submit. And that's what you do. So i just wanted to talk about that that is what you call true submission and when you reach that point that is when god can actually move in your life and make some changes and some changes will happen that's when you'll receive and get the answers that you need that woman will become that woman that you need her to be that man will become that man that you need him to be your thought processes will change you will now see things the way that she sees things or you'll you, it just it just submission that's what it is submission hmm i may do a whole video on this submission thing because i think that we um just take it out of context don't know exactly what it means and you know what right now it is so freeing for me to say it because you can relax in submission because it's it, you're actually saying i've done all that i can do and I need help. <laughs> it feels good actually because it's not on you anymore. You know, it's done. It's not on you. It's not your responsibility. So that is today my my clip. I'm done. I wanted to share that with you, and I think that's a good place to end it. Submission. So that's what we need to do. Lose control because you're already out of control. So let it go. All right. So listen, that was Security Boss. I'm here at Walmart. I'm getting ready to go outside. Take this video, share it, if nothing else, talk about the submission piece, and just try it. All right? Thank you, guys. This is unsolicited. Remember, you didn't ask me for this, but Security Boss had the answer. Submission. Talk to you soon. Bye.